people tend to forget that Prithvi Raj Kapoor also had his own theatre company. So uh, where Raj Kapoor, Shami Kapoor, Rajiv Kapoor all learnt the tricks of the trade. They started as actors there, uh, under huge rigor and riyas, and every morning, you know, getting up and, and, and reciting poetry and building your voice and, and all sorts of things. After doing a film with Nasir, the hero Hiralal, many years ago, uh, that I needed training. I was just awful in that film. And so I went to New York after that, and that's where the penny dropped, and I realized theatre is what I love. That is what I love. It's the rehearsal process. It's that people coming together, of that safe space, of taking risks, and not worrying if you fall flat on your face. Finally performing in front of an audience made up of strangers that you share so much with. Um, and then you get to travel, you know. And, and for me, I guess a big shock came when I was 16 that I realized that traveling theater companies did not hardly exist in the world. They were dwindling because the economics didn't work. I mean, I would imagine that, that he married my mother, so none of, none of the other siblings married women who were from the world of theater, so there was that. He, at the age of 18, met my mother and then in Calcutta and then was at that point working with Prithvi Theatres, Prithvi Raj Kapoor's theatre company and then joined uh, Shakespeareana uh, when they fell in love and he got a job as an actor and toured with them for two years. So he toured all over the country performing Shakespeare, which he was terrified of, but he managed to crack it. And he would have continued being a stage actor if the finances and economics would have allowed it. I'm not the best person to talk about Hindi cinema because I haven't really grown up with seeing huge amounts of it. Uh, I grew up watching world cinema. My, my father, ever since I was nine, eight, nine, ten, would would get films from Pune Archive and we'd watch films in Bombay. And so, I, you know, I, I, I think of my 16-year-old son and he hasn't even begun to scrape the top of uh, what world cinema was and is today. I have, a, I have a big quarrel with people thinking theatre is elitist um, because I come from Maharashtra where theatre is seen by everybody. Uh, my greatest joy four years ago was a rickshaw driver who took me from the airport to Prithvi and he wasn't Bihari which was unusual and he was Maharashtran and he started talking to me and he realised that he realised who I was that I was going to Prithvi and then he started telling me, you know, this is where Vijay Tendulkar lived, this is where Makran Deshpande used to play cricket, this is where they used to rehearse, as we were going along. And, and he goes to the theatre, he used to go to the theatre every month with four members, him and three members of his family would go and it wasn't the expense that has stopped him going anymore. He doesn't go to the theatre anymore because he's bored. He's bored with comedies. He doesn't want snapshot comedy, I, you know, comedy, 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 he said. I don't want that. I want social drama. I want interesting things that trigger my mind. And this is a rickshaw driver. Um, so that's the state I belong to. Um, and I think that that's a lot of what happens in this country, especially in the South and maybe in the East. Um, and it's just the North that is very different. Um, but I think, so, so there's different types of art, uh, theatre and there's such a variety and it's so rich and I think that's what we've got to celebrate.